Imagine you are in a forest and suddenly a bear comes before you. What should you do? In this video, I am going to tell you people what to do. Having a bear standing in front of you is one of the most frightening things you can experience in your life. In case due to bad luck or misfortune, you come face to face with a beer. In this kind of situation, you have to know what to do to survive and prevent any kind of escalation of the situation. This is going to be a two parts video. In this part, we will see how to prevent beer encounters from escalating and getting worse. It is important to keep in mind that Beer behaviors sometimes are unpredictable. Each beer and each experience is unique. There is no single strategy that will work in all situations and that guarantees safety. But following some basic guidelines may help to lessen the threat or danger. Your safety can depend on your success to calm the beer. When you go to a park and forest, always remember to check with the nearest visitor center or forest ranger office for the forest safety guidelines. Prevention is better than cure. So first step is to avoid an encounter with a beer that could escalate into an attack. Keeping your distance and not surprising the beer are some of the most important things you can do. Pay attention to your surroundings and if you are in an area with beer activity or a good food source such as berry, bushes, make noises or talk loudly. Make effort to be noticeable because beers don't like surprises. Most beers will avoid humans if they hear them coming. But if a beer has noticed you and is paying attention to you, then some strategies can help you prevent the situation from escalating. Talk to the beer calmly so the beer knows you are a human and not a prey animal. Remain still, stand your ground but slowly wave your arms. Help the beer recognize that you are a human. It may come closer or stand on its hind legs to get a better look or smell. A standing beer is usually curious, not threatening, so don't be afraid. Stay calm and remember that beers generally just want to be left alone. Beers may bluff their way out of an encounter by charging and then turning away at the last second. See, that was a bluff charge. There he goes. That is a bluff charge, people. Beers may also react defensively by woofing, yawning, salivating, growling, snapping their jaws and laying their ears back. Continue to talk to the beer in a low tones. This will help you stay calmer and it won't be threatening to the beer. A scream or sudden movement may trigger an attack. Never, and I mean never in capital letters, imitate beer sounds or make a high pitched squeal. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. If you have small children with you, then pick them up. Always try to hike and travel in groups if you go to forests where beers live. Groups of people are usually noisier and smellier than a single person. Therefore, beers often become aware of groups of people at greater distances. And because of their cumulative size, groups are more intimidating to beers than a single person. There are equipments like beer bell and air horn. You can use those to be noisy too. Keep your eyes up for signs of beers. If you see beer tracks, Make a detour or leave the area. 
If you see a bear in the distance, don't surprise it. Keep your ground and stay away. Let the bear move on before proceeding. If a bear changes its behavior because of you, then you are too close. You have to reduce your noise if you see a bear. Be calm and quiet. Let it mind its own business. This is especially important with young bears. A mother may be nearby which can be extremely dangerous. Even if a bear seems sick or hurt, stay clear and away from it. Call a ranger. If you see a carcass, stay away from it. A bear will defend two things, their younglings and their recent meals. If you find any carcasses, especially fresh ones, stay away from them and give it a wide berth. You should immediately leave the area. Another important thing you should remember is to keep your pets at home. Bears generally don't consider human as a food source but your dogs or other pets may not be so fortunate especially if your dogs regard the bear as a threat. The bear will attack both you and your dogs. If you must have pet with you, make sure they are leashed. Purchase all the necessary bear repellents such as pepper spray and bear proof canisters. Always be prepared to both avoid bears and to deal with them in the rare case that they become agitated. When camping, keep both food as well as food waste contained. The smell of wrappers and remains can attract bears. They have super nose. Do not allow the bear access to your food. Getting your food will only encourage the bear and make the problem worse. Do not drop your backpack as it can provide protection for your back and prevent a bear from accessing your food. If the bear is stationary, move away slowly and sideways. This will allow you to keep an eye on the bear and avoid tripping. Moving sideways is also non-threatening to bears, but do not run. If the bear follows, stop and hold your ground. Bears can run as fast as a racehorse both downhill and uphill. Like dogs, they will chase fleeing animals. No use in climbing trees also because Many bears can climb trees. Leave the area or take a detour. If you see any signs of bear, carcass out, paw marks get out, scratch marks at the trees out, even berry bushes get out of that area. Get out. Be super cautious if you see a mother bear with cubs. Never place yourself between a mother and her cub. Do not approach them. The chances of an attack in this situation is as high as Burj Khalifa. She may think you as a danger to her cubs. Make yourself as big as possible with hands, clothes and high ground. Again, you must do this calmly and slowly. If the bear sees you and is closer than 95 meters or less or more or if the bear is approaching you, remain calm and try to look as large as possible. Stand your ground and try not to look frightened. Slowly raise and wave your arms indicating that you are human and not a prey. Continue talking in a low and calm voice. Keep in mind to never corner the animal. Always give the bear an escape route. But if the only way out is through you, then immediately provide a pathway allowing them to escape. Because otherwise, they will run through you. Don't look a bear in the eye. The bear will see it as a challenge for dominance, territory, food, or anything else the bear is concerned. Bear will always want to defend its territory and will therefore act with ruthless aggression. Ruthless aggression.
You can look at the beer, just don't look at its eyes. When camping, always be prepared with paper spray. Beers are attracted to fire and campfires. You can suspend your food from a high, sturdy tree limb. This will protect your food from beers. You can find many tutorials about how to hang food in YouTube or any website if you search. So this was it. A few tricks and tips to avoid beer encounters or prevent escalation of these kinds of encounters. Now these are not foolproof 100% guaranteed to save you because each encounter is unique. But these are some guidelines that can or might save you from beer encounters from escalating. In the next part we will talk about how to escape if a beer attacks you. So stay tuned, stay safe and stay clean everyone.